Today I'm sharing a recipe for a homemade rosemary and thyme moisturizing hair oil, which is perfect for dry scalps and dry hair, common this time of year during the cold months. Hi, sweet friends. My name is Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest. This channel is all about living the simple life, cooking from scratch, making home remedies, and creating a cozy home with charming thrift store finds. So if you're like me and you like the simple life, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the little notification bell below that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Now this is a very simple oil to make and it doesn't have a lot of ingredients. What you're going to want to start with is some castor oil. And then from there, you have some options in terms of the additional oils that you want to add. But what I like to do is add argon oil. And the reason is argon oil really moisturizes dry hair. So that's the one that I like to pick. And then the second one I like to add is jojoba oil because that's excellent for moisturizing your scalp. So you get one for the scalp and one for your hair. Now your base is going to be the castor oil, but if you don't want to use argon and jojoba, you can certainly use other wonderful moisturizing oils like olive oil, coconut oil, um, uh, avocado oil, anything like that. And the next thing that I like to do is add some essential oils. Specifically, I like to focus on rosemary and thyme. And the reason is both of these are very stimulating and they stimulate blood circulation and they stimulate your scalp and they help nourish the follicles which then allow for healthy hair growth. And I think I've shared this book with you in the past. This is Rosemary Gladstar's Medicinal Herbs, A Beginner's Guide. And this is a wonderful book uh, to help you really understand all about um, herbs and their medicinal properties um, and specifically uh, when uh, you are using them as essential oils. And so that's where I really learned about Rosemary's, uh, Rosemary's the author as well as the herb Rosemary, Rosemary's stimulating effects to the scalp. And then also another book uh, that I like is called Healing Herbal Infusions. And uh, this one is by Colleen Kodakis, and she might pronounce her last name. And she has a recipe in here for an herbal hair wash, which is very interesting. And But in it, she talks about the benefits of time for the scalp. So that's why I like to focus on those two uh, essential oils as my main ones for this hair oil, doing the um, rosemary and the thyme. Then I also like to add just a drop of the peppermint. It's very stimulating and I just like the fragrance that it adds and the tingling little feeling that it puts in your scalp, which is nice. And then finally, I like to add uh, one drop of lavender. Lavender is just a wonderful all-purpose uh, type essential oil and it uh it also has a lovely fragrance. And the nice thing is I normally uh, use this hair oil at night and I put it into my hair. I leave it on for about a half an hour to an hour and then I shampoo my hair, dry it and go to bed. And so having that little bit of lavender, you know, uh, as you may have read, lavender can be a very relaxing herb and help with uh, sleep. And I'll be sure to put links to all of these below in the description. Um, so that you can click on them and, and find them it, uh, to purchase if you can't find them you know, at your local grocery store and whatnot. Now the first thing that we're going to do is start with the castor oil. Now castor oil is thick, but it's incredibly moisturizing. But it's nice to have a, uh, some other carrier oils in which to dilute the castor oil. As you can see, that's pretty thick. Now I'm just going to make, this is one uh, dose, so to speak, of, of hair oil that I'm going to make. Um, you can certainly make more, but I find that it just stays fresher if you just make this each time that you want to use it. I try to use it maybe once a week. And as I said, the way that you want to do this is uh, just take dry hair and pat this on your scalp best you can, really work it in, and then work it down uh, through your locks of hair and then let it sit. You know, I usually will put like a plastic bag or something over my head and then I wrap that in a towel to keep it nice and warm. And then um, I'll shampoo, leave it on for like a half an hour or an hour and then shampoo after that. 
Now, the next thing that we'll, I want to do is put in a teaspoon of the jojoba oil. And then in goes that jojoba oil. And then the next thing that I like to do is add a teaspoon of the argan oil. And then I just like to put in a drop or two of the rosemary oil. You really don't need much. I'm going to go ahead and put two drops in. <laughs> I've got a little more than two. And then I'm just going to put in about a drop. Oh, that smells wonderful. <laughs> a drop of the thyme or two. <laughs> and then just a little bit of this peppermint oil, just a drop. And then finally, just one drop, there we go, of the lavender. And then I just stir it up to make sure that everything's well incorporated. Oh, it smells wonderful. And now basically, just dip your fingers in, work it into your scalp, and down your locks, and you're all set. And then you can just use a little saran wrap, or sometimes I'll just cut you know, a gallon-sized plastic bag, put it on my head, wrap it in a towel, and as I said earlier, let it sit for a little bit until I'm ready to shampoo. And for a great source of information on essential oils, be sure to go over and visit my friend Marcy's YouTube channel. It's Marcy Vandenberg, and I'll put a link in an iCard and in the description below. She is wonderfully knowledgeable on essential oils, and her whole channel is about essential oils. If you'd like more ideas for homemade products for natural living, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and then click on this video over here where I show you how to make a homemade tallow bomb. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.